Hey guys, Dom Kane here for PluginBoutique.com. Today I'm looking at Organizer. It's not really a plugin, but more of an app for those of you who use audio unit plugins in Logic or Ableton or whatever. Basically, I know I find it really frustrating when you're browsing your audio units folder like this and all the units are as a list of folders with the manufacturer's name on it rather than anything useful like the actual type of plugin. That's where Organizer comes in. The app allows you to change the names of these folders and to reorganize the structures of them. So I'll open up the app like this and you'll see there is a list of your audio units. Notice the padlock next to most of them here. If it's locked, it means the plugin is in your home directory and it's best not to edit that there. However, if you click to unlock it, it actually copies that plugin into a different location for you to edit. So you can always go back to the original version later on if you want. Here you'll see the top folder titles, which is usually the manufacturer name. And you simply click on the text to actually type over it. So let's sort the column by alphabetical order by clicking here. Then choose the Dada Life Sausage Fattener, which is obviously a distortion unit. And if we unlock it and then change the title to Distortion. Now let's scroll down to the Kilohertz Faturator and do the same for that. Unlocking it first and then we can type in distortion like this. Now the next column across is for subfolders which Logic treats as subfolders with further drop down boxes but Ableton Live adds it to the unit title so they can group together in one list. This way you could have a top folder called Dynamics and then split that into subfolders of limiters, compressors, expanders and so on. Now to speed the process up you can unlock multiple plugins at a time but let's highlight both the Sausage Fattener and Faturator now and a pop-up window will allow me to change the top folder and subfolder names of both at the same time. So if you've got loads of similar plugins then that makes life a lot easier. As you start to change the names, you'll notice the sidebar over here starts to narrow down because it lists all the different top folder names. So you can really start selecting files a lot quicker then once you've started changing lots of them. Again, if you're looking for specific types of plugins here, then you have some buttons across the top above the sidebar to show or hide generators, instruments, effects, MIDI controlled effects and 32-bit plugins and locked plugins. In the actions menu you can roll back to previous names and even export your settings to then import them on a different computer which is great if you install a new hard drive or if you use two different machines for your productions. Then finally there's a restore button to restore everything back to how it was before you installed Organizer. And now just to double check that this all worked if I reload Ableton like this you can see the distortion folder in my audio units here with both Sausage Fattener and Faturator plugins inside. So that's basically it for this app. It's as simple as that. Don't forget you can get this for yourself at PluginBoutique.com. <laughs>